peeps, how I identify myself is more important than your demands. Same peeps, I demand you identify me as I want to be identified. So this is just a short thought about the hypocrisy that goes into this. People who say, I want to be identified as an XYZ, and say it doesn't matter if society says somebody who is like me is these is not XYZ, is ABC. I want to be XYZ. That's the most important thing. If you're just that way, I'm okay with that. You can identify yourself personally in however way you want to, especially if you say it's the most important thing. And in some extent, I think when you're navigating your reality tunnel, you are sort of in control of your perception of the world and things like that. But for you to say that you are not going to accept the identification that general society has of somebody that fits the things you apparently have or seem to have or appear to have, and then you say that is why you're going to say, forget what other people think. I am going to think what I think, and that's going to define me. That's how you're going to identify yourself. You can't then, well, I guess you can, because people can do this. People, you can do whatever you want, but you can't expect me to actually just be like, yeah, okay, accept that you're also going to say that I must then forget all the ways I identify things in preference to how you want to identify things. You see what I'm saying here? If your personal identification is the main thing, then other people's personal identification of themselves and other things is also going to be their main thing. Just like for you personally, I as an individual decide how I define I myself and also put what other people say about those things I define to a lower standard then other people will come and say their definitions of things are also central to themselves and it's subjective to themselves rather than it being an objective thing because they're not going to put your objective identification of yourself or other things or their or your identification of how important their identification of other things is. But when we come down to actually dealing with people in a society, I think we should have certain things where we can say, we can agree, like, this is what we're talking about, just to have better communication. There are certain things that are extremely subjective. There are certain things that are rather objective. Once we agree on certain goals, then there's going to be certain things that are objectively more conducive to achieving those goals than otherwise. There's going to be other things that are objective towards going away from those goals. Now, the importance of those goals, that's what's normally subjective. For some people, they don't think it's too important to identify if somebody's a man or a woman. For other people, they feel that's important. If somebody's talking to somebody online, for example, there's some cultures where they'll talk to a female in a certain way, they'll talk to a male in a certain way. So for them, it might be important to know who is typing to you and things like this. If you're playing a video game, for some people, if there's like a female character, they might treat that female character in a different way than if it's a male character. Then all of a sudden the voice chat comes on and you find that it's a male playing that female character. Do you still treat that person in the same way? So that identification is kind of there and it has some things, but how important is it? Where's the actual importance in this situation? But anyway, so I was just talking about this one, this short thought was part of my shorty series where I have a short thought and I expand on it. And it was just the dichotomy or the hypocrisy that I see in this thing. If you establish your personal opinion as the primary thing, then other people's personal opinion of you will also be primary to your possible demands of them to, to adopt your definition of yourself. Just like you're already eschewing the the request or just the back and forth or the exchange of accepting their definition about yourself. Okay, that's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe. Links below to a merchandise store. I'm going to go back and watch this an, an, an objectively amazing thing going on with the astronauts entering the, the International Space Station. They just opened the hatch, and this is, this is an amazing time. That's objectively awesome. I you can't just I, I guess we can all also just identify as astronauts since we're technically all on a planet-sized spaceship hurtling through space called Earth. So we're all kind of kind of uh, we're all kind of astronauts in our own way. But yeah, till next time. Goodbye.